Today I'm testing out Hanamule 300 pound rough watercolour paper uh, using my silver eye from New Zealand as the reference study. Quickly using the light box to trace around the sketch I've done for my other swatch samples. Helpfully uh, Hanamule has printed a short novel on the reverse side of the paper so I guess they're telling me it's a one side only stock. Uh, the texture of the paper is uh, quite luxurious, not at all mechanical. Uh, has a slightly silky, soft feel. Uh, let's see how paint goes on. I'm f you know what I notice at first is that uh, the paper's got a, a exquisite balance between absorption and uh, surface uh, line. It's probably drying a little bit uh, fast. I mean, I didn't load uh, the brush as much as I sometimes do, but you can see in the bottom right, before I reglazed that area, that uh, the wet on wet was uh, became wet on dry. Uh, for glazing, it seems uh, exquisite, and it is taking the first pass at blooms. They seem to be holding some definition. I probably did them a little early so they're bleeding out. I'm now putting some secondary blooms in the glazed layer. Now let's see how wet on dry goes with some Payne's Grey mixing with burnt umber. Uh, yeah, I mean it's quite exquisite. Uh, similar to the the best stocks I've sampled recently. The blooms on the rock at first glance seem to be taking quite well, but I think they are going to feather uh, into less definition than I'd like. Uh, I'm just reworking some leaves at the top to see how paint uh, lifts and reactivates. It seems to do that quite seamlessly. And again, perfect control with translucent layers of glaze. I can feather glaze it in. I can, I'm just dropping blooms uh, over the secondary glaze area. Gives me a lower contrast bloom effect. Uh, and it's holding the definition quite nicely. Laying down the olive for the head, adding a little bit of water to variegate it, mixing in with the Payne's Grey. I just have to reload my Payne's Grey uh, in my palette. I had run out. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'm liking how the paint sits uh, on the paper. It, uh, it doesn't get absorbed in like blotter paper but it doesn't pull on the surface uh, as it did with the uh, Stonehenge Aqua. Some accidental backwash uh, happening with the uh, burnt sienna light under the wing. Uh, I quite like it so I'm going to leave it for now. The mascara area seems to be bleeding out uh, nicely, nice soft feathering. Uh, it's a little too damp to put primary feather definitions in, so I'll wait a little bit. The shadowing under the feet, again, no surprises. I'm just doing some scale detailing, probably being a little bit too fussy for a swatch test, but with birds I sometimes can't help myself. Trying to achieve some translucence with the eye. Uh, this paper allows me to soften in uh, reflection areas with quite a lot of control. Uh, so all in all I'm becoming very happy with this stock. It is uh, up there among my very favorites. Uh, for blooming I like uh, an aquarelle uh, for glazing uh, I, I like Canson Heritage and now this Hanamil. So defined blooms, easy bleeding and we have a finished silver eye. Good paper. Paper dried I did some uh, further swatch testing running some warm colors and long bleeds with a little bit of salt lifting. Uh, I was looking to see how the broad washes uh, went and uh, 
how blooms were taken these broad washes. Uh, this was exquisite, I think, a pretty good result.